Welcome to Excel Basics video number 19. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link. You can download the workbook Excel Basics. Hey, we're doing data analysis here, and we want to look at the subtotals feature. Now, very important, two things are required before you can do subtotal. First is you have to have your data set up correctly, which means field names in the top, the first row, records are in rows, and there are no blanks anywhere. Second, you have to sort. Now we want region as our primary sort and then sales rep second. So I'm going to click in the sales rep column, and as we did in our last video, I'm going to sort data A to Z. Now I'm going to come over here, and I could go data A to Z, but in 2007 you can right click, sort A to Z. In 2003 you have to go up to the toolbar and find that A to Z. Now, we have the right uh, format for our data. We've sorted here and here. Now let's do subtotals. We're going to do subtotals on region first because that's our primary key. And then we'll go back and do a second subtotal on sales rep. Data, outline group, and subtotals. In 2003, you go to the data menu, subtotals. Now I want each change in. That's where it will insert a row and add a sum function. So that the at change at each change in we want region. Uh, if we have four regions, there'll be four sum functions, four rows inserted. We want a function, and you can have any of a, the eleven different ones. We'll have sum. Now add subtotal two. Oh yeah, that's where we want to do the adding under sales, and then click OK. Sure enough, over here on the left is our grouping feature. You can click the two and collapse it, just like that. You instantly have, and then you can see there's thousands of rows of data, instantly we have our subtotals. I can expand it by clicking on the three. Now let's go back and add subtotals to this second column. Remember, do your primary key first when you're doing subtotals, and then your second one second. Data, outline, subtotals. You have to change at each change in, and we're going to say sales rep. Sum, sales, very important. We want to uncheck this. Replace current subtotals? No way. We want to add them on top, and then click OK. Just like that, we have four outlines. If we click this three, we can see that there's the region for Midwest, right? There's the total right there, but there's all the totals for the sales rep inside that region. We can click two and then see just the region or even just the grand total. So the outlines, totally amazing. Now, a very important feature with subtotals, if you copy this, control C, and you try to paste it somewhere, it won't work. Um, it, or it'll just take all of the data set instead of just these um, individual subtotals. I'm going to um, show you how to insert a sheet. Actually, we'll do it right here. The keyboard shortcut for inserting a sheet is Shift F11. That's a new sheet that got uh, pasted right there. I'm going to double click that and name it Subtotal Paste. Now watch this, Control V. See, it pasted all the records. So now I'm going to Control V, I mean Control Z to undo, and then go back over here. We've got to figure out something different here. And here it is. We, instead of um, copying this, we need to individually select each uh, row here, which is called visible total, like that. I'm using my control key to highlight areas that are not next to each other. But you don't have to do it the long way. Simply highlight it as normal, and we're going to use the F5 key. That's go to. And then down here is special. And there's a visible cells only. Uh, F5, which is go to, and then special and visible cells only. And sure enough, then it will do that automatically for you. Let me show you another way. In 2007, you can go to home, and then this find button, and then go to, it's not there, there's go to special. And then you can click visible cells only. Finally, there is one other way, and it is a keyboard shortcut. Alt semicolon. Alt semicolon is the keyboard shortcut for visible cells only. Then when you copy, notice the dancing ants are moving around just the selected areas. You can click over here, click in cell A1, and control V. Okay, so let's go back over here. To get rid of all of this and get back to your data set, you go to data, 
outline subtotal. Uh, sorry, you have to just click. I had a cell not in the range. I'm going to click into one cell and go data, outline, subtotal, and then remove all. And instantly you're back to your normal data set. And over here you have your um, subtotals. All right, we'll see you next video. As always, if you want to go to the YouTube uh, XLS Fun channel and download the workbooks, down here on the left is the link. You click, and there's the workbooks. There's even a link to download the free book, 144 pages. You have to use your own paper, though. And there's all the rest of the videos, uh, um, all the rest of the workbooks for the rest of the videos at Excel is Fun. And there is the website direct link.